Hello, my name is Arun Shrestha and welcome to my video where I'll be talking about some common errors that novice Java programmers make. In this video, I'll be talking about identifier expected error. Identifier expected error. Most common reason for this is when the programmer fails to declare the data type or when a chunk of code isn't inside a method or a constructor. For this example, we'll be using the same problem and code as the previous one. We want the user to input two numbers and then we want the program to output its products. However, for this example, we've taken out the code that did the multiplication and put it into a separate class called product. Here, when you compile this, the compiler does not like the code at all and it gives us a bunch of errors saying identifier expected error and illegal start of type errors. In this video, we'll be talking about identifier expected errors. Now let's take a look at the errors and see what went wrong. Let's ignore number 1 and 2 as I'll come back to that and look at why the compiler didn't like our chunk of code. In Java, you cannot put the code directly inside the body of the class like we've done here. These code need to either go inside a constructor or a method. So let's clean this code up a little bit. As a reminder, a constructor in Java is a block of code which gets called when an instance of the object is created somewhere. So here let's put these inside the constructor so that whenever a new instance of class product is created, the user will get asked to input two numbers. So to create the constructor, public product and then copy and paste the code in here as such. Now we're left with this line of code which does the multiplication. Let's put this inside a method called doProduct and have it return the end value to us. So again, public int doProduct and copy and paste it in again. With this, all our chunk of codes are either inside a method or a constructor, but we're still left with an error regarding number 1 and 2. Looking at the code, we know that number 1 and 2 are variables that we use to store the inputs provided by the user. The error arises because we have not told the compiler what number 1 and 2 are. Is it a variable that's supposed to hold string values or an integer values? Or is it of type boolean? It is very important that we declare the type of the variable so the compiler knows. So for this example, as we're dealing with numbers, let's declare both of these to be int. Here we declare the variable to be private. We do this to make sure that these variables can only be accessed from inside the class and no other class can directly access these variables and change it. This should fix all our errors in this example. Now in the method main in class main, we've created an instance of product by calling product product equals new product which will call the constructor that we just made in the product class and then in the next line we've made a method call saying product dot do product which will execute the method. Now if you try compiling this you should have no error and it prompts the user to enter the first number let's give it two second number being three and it outputs saying the product of your number is six. Another reason why this might happen is when you use a keyword reserved by Java such as if and while as a class name like such. While this might not be common, it is something that can be easily overlooked as a novice programmer, so do be careful with that. 